Hey gang, just me again. Um, I'm going to do a couple of pencilling videos today. Uh, so I've basically laid down the roughs for the pencils here. I'm going to be doing some cartoon stuff. A little bit of a change from the comic book serious stuff. Um, yeah, I'm going to be doing some uh, cute animals. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to crack on and go over because I've already done some preliminary rough lines so I'm just going to go over these in pencil these these uh, images are actually for a friend of mine's son who uh, what who likes cartoons so uh, it's um so I'm going to start off uh, uh, just doodling these and he can and I'm going to give them to him as a christmas present so okay so I'm just going to go straight in I'm going to start off here with captain with the uh, captain giraffe here I don't know why I call him Captain Giraffe. Well, who knows? So let's just—we just need to have a look at some of these leaves here. So as I say, I've started off with the basic shapes, and they're looking good so far. So yeah, yeah, there we are. Okay, right. So I'm just going to bring this line down. The thing is, drawing cartoons and then drawing comics is cartoons have a lot less rules and you can have generally have a lot more fun I mean it's always fun anyway to draw cartoons but uh, and comic books but uh, cartoons there's less rules and you can exaggerate wherever possible yeah so we're going a well now like this yeah. okay great stuff Okay, right, so I'm just going to start off. I don't want to do the face too soon. I don't want to give the game away. So I'm just going to go over these lines here. Again, I'm always drawing downwards because that's my most comfy stroke. Lovely, lovely. Uh, so yeah, we're just doodling these, doing these lines here and there, just making them all nice and smooth. I'm just going to do the hooves of the giraffe here. Yeah, that's working, that's working. Any questions you want to ask me guys on the pencil work, just let me know and I'll uh, try and answer them. I haven't, I'm not watching the video myself today. I'm just trying to keep an eye on the comments. Lovely, and let's have a look and see. I see my friend Peter's watching, and my dad's watching. Hello, Dad. How are you? <laughs> Best behaviour, my dad's watching. <laughs> yeah. My dad really is the man when it comes to inspiration. Always encourages me to draw. Lovely. Okay. So we're doing alright with the hooves at the moment. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, wicked. These are looking okay, aren't they? So, yeah. As I say, we've got a few furry animals that we want to do today. So I'll... Some of the best way to do the, the pencils is to speed through, so... It's good to speed through. You get a little bit, a little bit of emotion going on there. A bit of shadow on the the, the other leg there. Yeah, Lovely. you can see that, can't you? Great stuff. Let's pull this neck down a little bit here. Start from the top of the uh, the like the jaw of the giraffe. Round and down the neck. Lovely, lovely. Hmm. Yeah. And let's give him a big ear. Big ear. Yeah, big floppy ears. Hello, I'm a giraffe. 
Hello. Let's give him a spiky haircut. Yeah. Yeah, spiky haircut with a mullet. Yeah, I'm an 80s giraffe. Yeah. Right, so lovely. Sorry about the mad tangent there. I'm not sorry. I enjoy being mad. Yeah, so this is looking pretty okay so far, isn't it? So yeah, just a quick giraffe. -y. Giraffe. -y. Okay. Got his nostrils there and the stubbly bits, like where his whiskers would be, I suppose, if they have whiskers. So we're just going to quickly cover in, colour in some shadow here. Yeah, yeah, I think the hair's looking okay. It's better than my hair anyway, at least it grows. I'm wearing a bandana on my head. So cold. These days, I'm going to draw. A, I'm going to draw a shy horse. Oh, ah, oh, thank you very much, Dad. Thanks, dude. Thank you. Sorry. <laughs> Thanks, Dad. Thanks, man. Love ya. Hello, Helen. Oh, thank you very much, Helen. Thank you. Well, I've got a few. I've got a couple more to do. As I say, I'm, I'm, I'm doing doing this for uh, for a friend's uh, son. He he likes to draw, and um, you know, I just give him a little bit of inspiration. I'm gonna, uh, it's going to get sent off overseas. This, so yeah, I'm going to give him all like how it works and like all the the rough sketches and stuff. Oh, I've forgotten his tail. How is he going to beat those flies off without without his tail? Uh, fly, flies off his bum. Yeah, terrible. How would a giraffe talk? How would he talk? And I'm not talking about the Madagascar giraffe, but how would he talk? What sort of accent would he have? You know, would he have a posh one? Would he have a dopey one? Who knows? Who knows? Yeah. So that's pretty much that's pretty much uh, a giraffe there. Can't fit him on the video, he's so tall. Isn't that the irony? Look at that. Great stuff. Yeah, let's give his knuckles a little bit of detail here. Just a sec. Just a little bit of detail. Just a little bit. There we are. Lovely. Okay. Right, so I'm just going to quickly sharpen my pencil. Ooh, uh. And uh, move on to the next one. Okay. Right, so we've done the giraffe, just again. Uh, now we're going to do this one, an arty elephant. So as you can see, I've done the rough uh, pencils so far. So I'm just going to go and start to uh, pencil the leggage and the feet. I'll give him a couple of creases here on his knobbly knees. No, he's not knobbly knees, is he? He's got big knees, he's an elephant. Mahusiv. Okay. Yeah. This is starting to take shape a little bit early. That's good stuff. Let's give him a nice belly, belly line here. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. Great stuff. Everybody see all right? Yeah. Okay. Great stuff, great stuff. Lovely, lovely. Okay. Again, guys, if you have any questions, anything like that on these, let me know. And I'll try and answer them, alright? Okay. So we're just going to 
bring this round here. So he's sitting on his back legs, sitting on his bum. Uh, have I got room to put a towel in there somewhere? Maybe, maybe not. Let's uh, let's not worry about that at the moment. So let's just uh, bring that round here. Uh, give him. Oh, I've noticed a mistake on my uh, template. Okay, that's that's fine. This this is what refining the work does. It allows you to adjust because I see there's a big nail here and a tiny nail somewhere there. So I'm going to turn this into a big nail at the side there and then a tiny nail there. So that sets a little bit better. In space, that's lovely. A little bit of undershadow on the um, the arm there. Lovely. A little bit of shadow down here as well. Let me get another pencil here so I don't blunt your pencil. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, shadow, shadow. Yeah, that's working for me. So has everybody had a good week? Yeah? It's the weekend. Anybody up to much? Okay. Right. Ah, oh, I see a cut. Uh, Carrie's joined us, Caroline's joined us, and Terry's joined us. Cool beans, cool beans, lots of peeps watching today. Cool beans on toast. With Worcester sauce. Worcester sauce. And Helen's watching. I'll probably. Yeah, I said hello to Helen, didn't I? Did I? Did I say hello? I can't remember. To engrossed in my work. Okay. Lovely, lovely. I currently do the other arm here. Yeah, we'll make the nail nice on this one. Oh, before I forget, yep, a little bit of creasage there. Okay, that's great. That's great so far, isn't it? Yeah, uh, let's uh, give him a little tie here and a collar of a shirt. No, just the just the just the collar and the tie. No shirt. A bit quirky about that, isn't there? Okay, let's get this. Uh, Give him a nice little the rest of the tie there as well. Okay. Uh, okay. Right. So there we are. Elephant's jaw or his chin? That's his chin. Yeah. And that's his. This is his jaw. Yeah. Hello. I'm an Hello. Right. So let's bring this down. Just like that. Basically what this line is here, it's his ear roll. It's his ear roll and there's his big ear. Oh, so big I can't fit it on the paper, on the on the video. Okay. Lovely, bring that round. Gently easy strokes. Uh, we've had a comment, let's have a look, see who that is. It's my dad, again. Going to Dogfest tomorrow night. Is that that um, punk folk band uh, that you like? Are they called Ferocious Dog? Yeah, they playing punk folk. Interesting stuff. I wouldn't mind. You've been to better bands than I have. I've seen some cool bands. You're still going. That's good stuff, Dad. Right, so we've done his we've done his his, his ear here now ear 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 all oh, ear 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 okay more people have joined okay so that's Kerry hello Kerry uh, so yep we're we've done the the hairy bit here so we're going to do the other curve of the ear here ear 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 oh it's not going to get old is it no I'm going to wind you up with that no. I'm not really. Don't worry. Okay, I'm rambling again. Right, time to sharpen the old pencil again. Uh, not actually sharpening the pencil. I'm sharpening the lead of the pencil. This saves a little bit of time and it keeps it nice and round and smooth. Okay, right. So we're going to draw the trunk now. So again, I've moved it to a position where I'm comfortable with my with my hand. Making comfort is key, boys and girls. 
So yeah, we're moving the, we're doing a couple of creases in the trunk here. Yep, and then we're going to just quickly move that round like that, and then down. Lovely, lovely, clean line. Lovely. And again, that's great stuff. Okay, and then we're going to just put a couple more creases. Correct in war. Uh, right, I can't get another comment. From my dad again, correct in war shop. My geography's naff, Dad. I look like a, I look like a geography teacher, from the seventies. But uh, you know, I really should have those leather el elbow pads on the twee jacket type things. But uh, where is where? I digress. Where is Warsop? I can I can never remember. My as I say, I've got an E in geography. Yeah, so we're working on the trunk, which seems to be working so far. Yay! Awesomeness. Okay, just going to move this round like that again. Going to start the trunkage off like that, and again like that, like that. Lovely. We're just going to do the tr do the snout. Yeah, what's he holding? He's holding a pen, a paintbrush, and a and a pencil. So we're just gonna quickly quickly draw these. Yes, yes, marvelous. <laughs> okay, All right, got this, got that. Yeah, got the fennel. Yeah. Fennel and the paintbrush. Great stuff. Oh, my friend Jebba's watching. Hello, Jebba. Let's put a little bit of a shine on this because fennels of brushes are usually shiny. Yeah. And then let's just do the pencil. This pencil's got an eraser on it, like this one. A uh, couple of creases there on the silver bit. And then we'll do the body. I might have to break out the old ruler for this one. Where's my ruler? Oh, no, sod it. Let's do it freehand. Let's do it freehand so it looks more spontaneous. Okay. Lovely. So, Warsop is in North Nottingham. Yeah. Awesome, dude. Nice one. Well, as I say, man, you've been going to some killer gigs. I need to get some more gigs in me. Yeah. Yeah. Right, so we've drawn, we've done the pencil, a sharp pencil, uh, pen, uh, a paintbrush and a pen there. So I'm just going to move on to the last bit of this particular one. Uh, that's the um, the face of the elephant. So, lovely. Apparently, I used to call elephants Ellie Nits when I was a youngster. Apparently. Ellie Nits. I think it was when I was a toddler or something. Yeah. Right, so we got he's got a big grin on his face because he's got his pens and his paintbrush. Lovely. Uh, let's give him some eyebrows. Just here. Yeah, that looks okay. There's the other ear hole. That's just there. And then, whoop. Ah, let's do the eye here. Got to be careful of the old eye. Want it to be a nice smooth line. Righto, there we go. Lovely jubbly. Okay, so we've got an elephant there. Let's draw the eyeball and the pupil. And a nice little trick that you can do with comic uh, with the cartoons is the bigger you make the eyes, including the eyeball, makes the image more cute. It makes it look hyper cute. 
very very cute and i've just i've, I've i haven't gone too cute with this one but uh it's still cute nonetheless so yeah yeah so this seems to be working on this one just going to color in the math the north and south of the elephant what a mouth what a mouth what a north and south Ever seen a donkey, ever seen a donkey, ever seen a donkey drop down dead? Yeah, right. Okay, so this is working. We can add a bit of shad. Bit of shad, bit of shadow. Yeah, yeah. Great stuff, great stuff. Let's put a pattern on here. Stripey. It's like my old school tie. Yeah. Hmm. Okay, right. So, we've uh, we've done a giraffe. We've done a elephant. Sorry, elephant. Now, we I think what we're going to do, we're going to move on to a hippo. Yeah, hippo with a t-shirt. on. Lovely. So we've again we've got the uh, the rough pencils like these lines, these indicator lines and construction lines all, that I've already done previously. Just to make my life a little bit easier because you know you build you build and i do that thing called tacking where i put in basic shapes and then uh, go over it with blue tack take the opacity down removes the um first layer uh, relates sorry removes a layer of graphite uh, so you can go over the previous layer and then you refine it and refine it and remove that you keep tacking away tacking away Tacking away. Um, tacking away, hey, on the thin ice of a new day. Sorry, Jeffro Toll. Uh, right, shut up, Steve. Get on with it. Right, so, yeah, so you can see the lines here. I'm just going to um, go in here and start off. Oh, this is a prime example of using and, and moving the piece of paper to the stroke that you're comfortable with. So, yeah. Oh, more comment? Another comment? Oh, thank you very much, Dad. Thank you very much. Uh, right, so we're just... Uh, thank you. Thank you. So there's the... We're doing the elbow here of the hippo. So, yeah. Um, see, my most comfortable stroke is down, so... Uh, I'm just moving that down to there like that, so it looks lovely. That looks lovely. It's a good line. It's a good line. And one of the ways that you can... A uh, nice little trick that you can teach yourself when you're drawing is uh, when you're looking when you're looking at what you're drawing or when you're inking. It, you can do it when you're penciling as well, especially when you use a technique like I use. Um, say, for argument's sake, you're a little bit scared of the line that you're going to draw. You don't. You you want a nice smooth line. So what you do, I'll show you uh, with this here. It it works on larger lines. It works on small lines as well, but. Uh, if you're not confident about going from there to there in one fluid movement, what you do is you don't focus on where the point is, the pencil is, you focus on the point where you want the point to go. So you just, yeah, see? Not as fluid, maybe not as fluid, but then you can smooth it out, see? No problem. There's a line, you know, if you're not, again, if you're not confident with your line, move it to where you're comfortable, and then don't concentrate on where the point is, the point the pencil is, put it where you want to go. We'll look at where you focus on this bit here. Yes, this bit here. Yes, that bit there. So, oh, I better get rid of that arrow, actually. If I'm going to give it to the youngster. Um, yeah, so focus on this bit, and then no worries. See, you guide the pencil. You don't worry about it. You just, it's nice and smooth, lovely, beautiful. Right, so that's the, see, and, and inadvertently I've done an arm without thinking about it. So that's great stuff. Yeah, let's give a put a little bit of shadow here. Yeah, that works. So, ah, prime example of that line from here to there. That's a big old line. So, if you're not comfortable with that entirety of the line, stop for a point where you are comfortable, make a note where you are, and then just lovely. Again, don't look at the point of the pencil, look at the point where you want to put the pencil. 
Lovely. It takes a certain degree of control and practice to do it, but it just makes life a little bit easier. It takes the tension out. You know, it, it relaxes your, your drawing hand, so yeah. See, that's fine. That works. Yeah. Let's do it for let's do it to to this one here. Yeah. So we're not looking at the point here, we're looking at the point down there where we want to take it, but it's too long. So stop at a point where you're comfortable, just get it to where you want it, lovely, and then carry on like that. Lovely, it's all smooth, it's great. It's all good, smooth, smoother than the top of my head. There we are. Great, so, yeah. Just going to move this round again. Yep, and there's another line, and there's another line. See, it's all great stuff, good in the hood. No worries. Right, let's uh, plop this on here, plop this on there, just like that. It's starting to sound like Tommy Cooper. Okay. Right, so there's the sleeve of the t-shirt again lovely again these where, where I'm moving the paper where I'm drawing so quick you can see you as you get quicker your confidence grows in the line and you stop worrying about it so yeah it's all the same angle all the same stroke down but it works it gets you know I can draw to a certain extent I can draw with my fingers to whatever like, direction I want but my rear, I'm not comfortable comfortable drawing upwards in a large swoop so I just move the page down and draw downwards so if you turn that up the other way it looks as though it's been drawn up job done what's the matter you know it's not worrying about it no good no ways no ways yeah all good great stuff so we're doing the the hand now oh I really should finish the leg off really down here shouldn't I oh sorry right so you've got the tum tum here lovely and a little bit of shadow there and then the nice line there see where that line's getting stronger you see that that particular this, you know you're you're you you are basically warming up as you draw and you continue to warm up as you draw so yeah that's fine yeah lovely that looks wicked if i don't sorry it sounds arrogant when I say it looks like yeah, it's, I'm not giving myself praise, but it's it's please when you draw a line that you're pleased to see. It, it, it's great when you nail a line, especially great when you nail a lot when you nail a line that you're not comfortable with. So yeah, basically what this is here that's a shadow. So I'm just going to quickly whack this through. Yeah. So these shadows will be worked on properly later. See, the point of this pencil is too sharp for me to get a nice, smooth, soft line. Something that blends into the other pencils. But that's fine. They can see how I work. So it's all good. It's all good. No worries, Governor. No worries. Right. Okay, so let's just work quickly on this hand here. Okay. Whoop. Thumb crease. Outside of the thumb. Actually, that's the outline of the index finger, or whatever type of finger that is. Great stuff. Okay, and again, more fingers, more fingers. More chocolate fingers, please. Yum, chocolate fingers. Oh, don't want to diet. Right, no one said anything or made any comments for a little while. I haven't sent you to sleep, have I? Sorry. Okay. Great stuff. Okay, so we've got a heart, a T inside a heart. Which one? Mm, okay, okay. Cool. 
So that's pretty, that's worked pretty well so far. So what we're going to do is we're going to move to my favourite part of all my cartoons is the face. Yeah. So let's just quickly do the collar of the shirt here. Lovely. Lovely. Just following that round carefully. There's no need to rush. There is absolutely no need to rush when you draw. Unless you, I mean, if, if you have deadlines, that's fair enough. But just enjoy it, man. You're doing it because you like doing it as well. At the end of the day, let's move these. Uh, this is a again. This is a, a confidence thing. And this line here, I'm not confident in drawing it in one fell swoop. So I'll just pick a part here to where I want to take it. Lovely. So that's fine. Yeah. Okay. We can ignore that. That's fine. That's a. It's a. That's a, that's a fine line. That's okay, because when because basically another thing that you do is with a particularly long line, if you're not comfortable with it, uh, comfortable with it, again, stop to a point that you are comfortable with it. Don't focus on the point of the pencil. Focus on where you want to put the point of the pencil and draw the line down, as I have done there. But what you can do, you can go back further in the line and connect the line to the next one. So yeah. Oh, I think I've had a comment. Oh, still watching it all. Thank you, Dad. Thank you. Right, so, yeah, that's worked a little bit better than the original line itself that I constructed it with. So, yeah, that's all good. So we're just going to move the paper around again because it's at the same... It's the same um, stroke and down the same direction where I want to go so it's a longish line like that so I'm just going to stop it there lovely that's okay yeah that's fine and then basically it's that one there that's where I want to stop just there so I'm just going to start it here yeah that's fine it's all good because basically what you're doing it what I do here is what I'm doing at the moment is I'm so, uh, I've mentioned it in my previous videos, I give myself a dry run where I do I do a certain level of pencils, then I tack it, and then I go over the same level of pencils, the, the same layer of pencils, adding more detail as I go. Now if you want to add more detail, you just tack it again, and then basically you learn you you learn the the contours of the of the lines that you want. And you learn, you say to yourself, right, you make a mental note and you go, right, I'm going to tackle that line when I ink first. So it's just, it's getting your problems out of the way, basically. But you shouldn't really have a problem uh, when, when you draw, it, sh it should just be fun. I mean, if you make a mistake, again, I've said it before, there's no such thing as a mistake because you only end up learning stuff. Yeah, see, this is a lady hippo. I'm going to give her a nice little bow. Yeah, so, hmm, this is working so far. Right, <clears throat> I want to just uh, uh, do the, the mouth part of the hippo first because it doesn't look even on my construction line. So I'm just going to bring the top lip here. I'm going to change the initial one that I drew. That's fine. It's only a little change. That's fine. Great. That's I can smooth. We can smooth that out. That's fine. It's great. So yeah, we've got a nice top lip there. Little crease. Whisker holes. Whisker holes. Whisker holes. Okay. Right. And then let's bring that line down like that, and then that line down like that. Okay, I'm drawing away from myself, which I don't really like doing. So let's do the down stroke there. And then the down stroke there. So it's all nicely connected. Nice little lower lip. In, uh, in, uh, implying a little implement there. Sorry. Implying the shape of the lip, lower lip there. So lovely. Let's give, him a to give her a tooth here and a tooth there. And a tooth there, and a tooth there. Great stuff. So, we've done the tooth. I'm going to put a tongue in there as well. I'm just going to quickly colour in the black of the mouth. Like the dark of the 
the hole in the mouth here. So yeah, this works. Great. Okay. So what's next? The nostrils. So yeah, we've got the outer line here. And we've got another outer line there. Okay. Then we've got like the lip of the nostril. And then the shadow that it casts. So like you're looking into the nostrils of the hippo there. And just a quick colour in there. Great stuff. Right. Let's have a little bit of a bridge here. Bridge in there. Yeah, that's fine. Okay, so... Um, right. Moving on to the eyes. So, yeah, the eyes are smiling, so... That's great. So we're just going to... In fact, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to turn the page around. Because, again, these lines are drawing up, and I want to create the illusion that I've drawn up by drawing down and moving the paper. Okay, so, put the crease there, the crease there. Let's uh, just draw a nice little line there for a second. Nice little line there. Let's give her a, a set of eyebrows there. A little eyebrow there. A little line there. And there and there. Let's draw these big eyeballs like this. She looks deranged. Oh, no, 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 she's all right. Okay, right, so great stuff. I'll we'll just create some stuff there. That's all good. Yeah, so we got this there. And then colour these pupils there. So I tell you what, let's give, give nice full eyelashes. Yeah. Yeah, see, that works, doesn't it? Yeah? Yeah, great. Wicked. Okay. Yeah, so that's a hippo. <laughs> that's a girl hippo. Um, yep, so that's that one done. So I've got one more. Yay, he's only got one more. Right, so, so far we've done a giraffe. An elephant and a hippo. So, what's the last one I hear you cry? It's a lion. It's a lion. And he's got a tiny little tiddly mate sitting in front of him, a little mouse. And he's got a mate sitting on his back, a little cat. So, I'm just going to quickly uh, sharpen my pencil. Ooh, uh. And then I'm going to have a crack at this now this first bit that i'm going to do is going to be a tiny little bit tiny tiny teeny tiny this one this one here teeny tiny it's only a tiny little mouse you know it, it's only going to be a tiny little sketch so i'll just do it quickly i'll imply there we are there's his eyes there's his ear there's the top of his head there's his other ear there's his nose there's his mouth yep Tiny little paw, tiny little paw, he's having a rest. He's having a rest, he's having a kip, siesta. Yeah, they've had, they've had too much food, man. The mouse has had too much uh, Stilton. The lion's had too much uh, gazelle. <laughs> too much gazelle. And the kittens had, and the cats had too many dreamies. Yeah. So, right, let's do the cat next, which is easy, it's only tiny little tiddler, yeah, yeah, so we'll do the cat next here, so let's start off with the paw again, and again, see these lines are tiny, you can get away with keeping the paper still, yeah, so it's, it's, it's having tiny, these are, these are teeny little, tunes that you can do on top here but they're all fun yeah and he's a kip as well so nice okay and then 
Where's the other ear? Bring that down here. Ear, ear. Oh, God, again. Sorry. Right. And he's having a chill. Bring his back paw down like that. Back paw down like that again. A little bit of shad. A little bit of shadow. Let's do the tail next. And I'll create the the shadows that we need so he sits in space properly on top of the lion's back. So great stuff. Okay. Yeah. I do love my cats. I've got three of them. Surprised Arnie. Oh Arnie's behind me. Hello Arnie. You alright Arnie? Yeah. He's having a clean. You can't see him. It's alright. So we've done the, the cat now and we've done the shadow. So I'm just going to work on the back leg of the lion. Just here. See, that's lovely. It's a nice line. Nice, smooth. Nice and smooth. Lovely. So we've got the main part of the leg muscle here. A little bit of a leg muscle. Yep, but let's do the tail. Woo hey. Great stuff. Right. So again this is a swirly line. Hard to maintain a certain level of control. You can use a French curve if you want to, but uh, I want to try and keep this free hand. French curves are handy actually. They make inking long lines that are, cur that are curvy easier as well. This gives you a nice smooth line. Yeah, that works for me. Yes, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, let's work on the foot or the back paw. Okay, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, let's uh, just draw a little shadow there. Okay, I'm going to give him a claw here. Yeah, claw there. Okay. Great stuff, great stuff. And there's the top of the paw. Um, let's do it underneath the front paw. Great, great, great. Any questions so far? No? No? No. Okay then. Right. Oh, I do believe my wife's put a Yankee candle on. That's very nice. Great stuff. <laughs> yeah. So we've got the back paw. So let's do the front paw just here. Let's give him an elbow. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, just a little bit of an elbow, a little bit, a little bit. Yeah, great stuff. There's his tum tum. Let's give me his shadow a little bit. The tum -tum. Okay, great. And then, whoop. oh, I've got to be very careful with the, how I do this next line now. So I'm just going to turn it round because I want to bring it over the next toe of the paw. Yeah, yeah, nice, smooth. Lines there, and there's some more claws. So, yeah, that's great. Okay, lovely. So, oh, I'm getting stuck here. Right, let's bring the rest of the arm down. Yeah, let's give him a little bit of a shoulder. Yeah, bring the arm down like this, like a nice smooth line. Great. Lovely. And there's the top of the back. Just there where he's sitting. Okay, so we're getting there. We're getting there. So let's give him a big ear. Yeah. Lovely. Give him a little bit of... Run it. Okay. Great stuff. So I'm going to... A lot of these lines are lovely. Like this. Like, wow. Yes. Great stuff. Yeah. Yeah, this is working so far. Great. So, 
so far so good. So we're just doing his mane at the moment. So yeah, bring that round, bring that round like that, like that, like that, like that, like that. Yeah. Down like that again. Ah, yeah. So I might need to change the uh, the nature of his jaw jawline just so it matches. Okay, so it looks like a horn, doesn't it? Right. Okay, that's fine. We can move that up. We'll, we'll move that up there, so it's a little bit further away, so it's not in his. Head as much, coming out the front of his head as much. So yeah, that's looking. And we put a different angle on that. Like that. Yeah, problem solved. Okay. So what I want to do is I want to try and match that to that over here. So no, I want to match that to that over there. So right, just gonna quickly do a couple of adjusting lines. That's fine. Yeah, all good. Problem solved. Okay, let's finish. Next bit off of the main, yeah. Okay, so we got this down here, which is the jaw bit, yeah. Great stuff. There's the thumb part of the paw coming over like that, yeah. Yeah, so he's having a nice kip, yeah. And then let's make that smile a little bit bigger. There we go, yeah. Lovely. Give him a little bit of a cheeky, cheeky smile there. There we go. Yep, yeah. What's he dreaming of, eh? What's he dreaming of? Yeah, lovely. Hmm. Yeah, he's a happy soul, isn't he? Happy soul, happy fella. That is a lion with a cat on its back with a ma mouse sitting in front keeping guard or having a kip as well. See, what are, what are all three of these dudes dreaming about? So, basically, um, yeah, that's, that's it. That's pretty much it. That's me drawing a giraffe, an elephant... A hippo, a lion, a cat, and a mouse. Just for a change. Because I felt like a change instead of doing all this, the, 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 not my, like my comic book stuff. And plus the fact it's enabled me to share, uh, it's enabled me to relax whilst I'm d doing these drawings. Because um, these drawings are actually for, a, as I said at the beginning of the video, they're for a friend's son. So, uh, yeah. So I've actually managed to make a Christmas present in about, well, I don't know how long this video was, but it's, uh, yeah, so he's going to send these off to his little one, and uh, yeah, that's all good. Right, anyway, let me just uh, quickly show you what I've done again. So, we had the giraffe, yep, and we got the Elinet, or oh, sorry, as I should say, um, Elephant, and then we've got the hippo. Hello, yeah, the hippo, the lady hippo, and then we've got the big old cat, the little cat, and the mouse. Lovely, right? So, oh, comment drawing board jungle, yes, it is. 
It is. Sometimes my drawing board is so messy, it is like a jungle. Needle in a haystack. Um, right, thanks for watching, guys. I'm going to adjourn. I've probably got to do a bit of housework in a minute. Yes, I have got to do a bit of housework. So, uh, thanks for joining me. Uh, thanks for watching me. Um, you can follow me on Facebook as Stephen Tricky. You can follow me, also follow me on Facebook as the Stephen Tricky Sketchbook. You can follow me on Instagram as Stephen Tricky and Twitter as Stephen Tricky. And I'm also getting a YouTuber channel up and running. Still trying to work that out. Um, thanks for joining me, guys. See you soon. Bye-bye. Um, Take care. Thank you. Bye-bye.